Good morning, Deirdre and Teo. It's still very active seed here along Kegel Drive. You can see the line of PG&E trucks and crews up in their baskets, still working on these power poles. It's been a long 12 hours. Let me show you. Take a look. Live Copter 3 with Dave Allen was up overhead yesterday afternoon after a city work truck, according to PG&E, hit nine power poles, actually hit a power pole, brought down a total of nine power poles. Those poles ending up scattering, in some cases, lines into some people's backyards. Now take a look at some of the new video this morning just to show you all of the work that is being done as we speak and as a lot of people have been sleeping this morning. PGD crews busy trying to get all of these lines repaired. At one point, uh, PGD says as many as a thousand customers were without power. Now back out here live this morning, we are down to just about a handful of dozens, about uh, 55, 56, 57 customers still without power. PGD hoping to have that finally done by noon, but we're 12 hours into it and you can see it is still a very active scene. We're just north of Sacramento Avenue. The good news for those who uh, commute in from the West Sacramento side over the I Street Bridge, Sacramento Avenue not impacted by this, but boy oh boy, sure are a lot of work trucks over here and a lot of crews still trying to clean up nine power poles knocked over by that single city vacuum truck that ran into the power poles yesterday afternoon. Still investigating why that happened. Live in West Sacramento this morning, Mike Cassell, KCRA 3 News.